all right hello everybody what is happening welcome back to another video we won 3-0 today versus athletic bilbao i was kind of surprised to see uh, such a result actually considering the fact that we've actually kind of struggled at the santiago bernabeu but today uh really was the exception throughout the previous weeks before we won 3-0 it seemed very comfortable throughout the game I'll be honest here, I didn't watch the game. I watched about 15 minutes and I fell asleep. It, the thing is, I work graveyard and um, it's my last day working graveyard. So obviously I'll be able to watch future games. But today I didn't watch the game. I watched 15 minutes of it and that was it. I watched the highlights after that. And so hopefully I'm going to just give my assessment on that. But I wish I can give a better uh, overall view of the, of the game. But um but let me just start off here on a few things, actually. First of all, uh, I just want to say Jesus Vallejo was seemed excellent today. He seemed like a very, very good, solid center back. The kind of center back that every Real Madrid fan is expecting. We all know this guy can perform. It's just about his injuries. And that's why before, you know, I, and I, I, won't, hide, I won't hide from the fact that I've said we have to sell this player. Um, and I know he was good, but it's just his injuries. Look, if, if he can get his injuries kind of um, behind him and if he can start kind of putting some performances together, stringing a few performances together, then we have a good center back on our hands. I thought Jesus Vallejo was excellent today. seemed like uh, there was a few balls that were probably a little bit more difficult, but he made them look uh, very easy, relatively easy tackles. Put in the tackle, sweeped away the ball, and that was it. Uh, but Jesus Vallejo overall, it seemed like he put in a, quite a shift and... Uh, you know, he, he, he really made things look kind of easier than than maybe they have looked. Um, but yeah, Jesus Vallejo, he could be one for the future. If he, like I said, if he puts his injury woes behind him, then he is definitely one for the future. But the thing is, I don't want to Gareth Bale 2.0 with Jesus Vallejo. He has to put those injuries behind him because if he doesn't, then I have to say we have to sell him. However, if he does, if he does, he is definitely the right center back for Real Madrid. He is definitely at that level. Um, you know, Athletic Bilbao, they're never an easy team. And considering they're kind of fighting for that Europa League spot, Jesus Vallejo, for me, it really impressed me. And hopefully he continues to string some performances. I hope that we don't see him injured anymore. Now, as for Benzema, I mean, what can I say? What can I say? 3-0. Three goals from Benzema, a hat trick. We rarely see a hat trick from Benzema. Usually it's just a brace or a single goal. But today was a hat trick from Benzema. And to be honest, I have to give Benzema, once again, I mean, I didn't see the whole game, but I have to give Benzema overall a solid 10. Uh, he was involved, it seemed like he was involved in quite a, build, a lot of, build, of the build up play. It seems like he was also um, involved in quite a few chances that Real Madrid had. And, you know, obviously him making the three goals and us winning 3-0. I mean, what more can I say? Usually what happens, like I said, with Benzema is he'll just go up and down and up and down. But this season, no, he's maintained that kind of level that we know he's able to perform. And um, surprisingly, like I said, he's able to maintain it. And, uh, you know, it seems like he's just going to he's just going to beat that record that he set for himself in 2011-2012 in season. So... Uh, Benzema overall, I have to give him credit. He was very, very good. Uh, also, another player that I saw that actually kind of impressed me, and I'm just going by the highlights here, is Marco Asensio, actually. Someone who probably received a little bit of criticism throughout the week and uh, throughout the past few weeks, but it seems like he's just getting back into that form that we know he, he he's able to, to, to get, you know. Um, thought Asensio put in a few good chances, a few good crosses. I think he was... Um, on that cross for the first goal um and then i don't know if he had any other assists here and there but it seems like overall he had a very good performance now um are there any other players that i want to single out um cruz it seems he was getting back into form um marcelo i mean man marcelo just what a player he is especially with the return of zidane i think marcelo just feels like he has the confidence he feels like he can do kind of what he wants and he's just able to do it with such ease now. It's not like before where his every move was under scrutiny and he was kind of bereft of all that confidence, but now he's um, he has that confidence and he's able to do the things that we know he's able to do. And those kind of tricks that usually like I would see and um, 
usually I would see him do on the pitch, but I would, you know, never see um, anyone else do kind of those those unseen tricks that that we know Marcel has got in his in his big bag of tricks. Um, after that, I mean, that's really all I have to say. Zidane, I mean, what can I say? This this guy is really regalvanizing the team, and obviously Bale not starting the mission of Gareth Bale. Very, 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 tell, very, very, very telling for Gareth Bale. Look, Gareth Bale, you know, he, he's had his injury woes. He, he's he wanted more minutes. We tried to give it to him. He was getting injured. I mean, what more can I say? I mean, this this guy probably has to go, and especially under Zidane, it's not gonna help. Uh, it's not gonna help for for his case. And I think the best thing to do is for him to find another club. And it's not that I'm trying to put him down or anything. I know he's a great player. I know that he's got all the qualities and skills to be at Real Madrid. But unfortunately, I think we have kind of moved on from Gareth Bale. I know he can do it at Real Madrid. The only thing is that he's always injured. And when you always have a player like that, it just kind of becomes annoying. And you can't depend on a player like that. So um, I know Zidane will want to be looking to move on from him this summer. Uh, so that's all I have to say, really. Um, just the match reaction. I wish I would have watched the game, but in the future, I will be watching, of course, the games. And hopefully, what I really want to do is put up some live streams. Basically, the reason I haven't been able to do that is because I don't have a, a graphics card that's really, uh, you know, very good, I guess, at the moment. Um, but I am going to get that probably this summer. That's, that's probably what's going to happen. I think it's going to be probably you're looking at end of may i'm gonna get that and then by then i should be able to get live streams and then um yeah just kind of interact with people on there and stuff like that so that's all i have for you guys today really just just that match reaction so thank you guys for watching and have a good day thank you